Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little bit of documentation here uh, with um, some of the projects I have going on behind me as well as some future aviation related uh, activities that I'll be doing. So let's start off with this project here. This is really interesting. Uh, this is a quarter scale uh, flare triplane. And what's unique about it, uh, anybody that, that, knows, uh, that knows me and knows the history of this airplane, uh, this was originally bought by my father in the late 90s. And it was built a couple of years before that. Um, and I flew it as a kid at Rhinebeck for a number of years, as well as some other contests and uh, in events you know in the northeast and uh, I'll try to put a picture up um, I competed in my first scale competition in Kingston New York Father's Day fly-in uh, with this airplane in uh, 2000 or 2001 so a really cool uh, history behind it um, at this point it's been sitting in storage uh, for about 10 years or so. Uh, so now uh, that we moved up to New York, we're very close to Rhinebeck and um, kind of settled down in an area where there's a little bit more uh, flying and you know the community is a little bit more active than, than where we lived out west for a while. So my dad brought this up a, a couple of months ago and I started deconstruction. <laughs> um, you can probably see the covering up there on the shelf. It's uh, It actually came off fairly well. Anybody that doesn't know this airplane, it was in fact one of few, I believe, that were done in the Ernst Kessler um, Waldo Pepper color scheme. And I liked it so much, and I grew up watching that movie so often that I think I'm going to keep the scheme going. Uh, but what I had to do is strip the airplane and kind of make sure that it's still structurally sound after 20 some years, about 20 years now. And as you can see, the fuselage, the wood, is in really good shape. Now, this was powered by an OS 120, so there's some. There's some uh, fuel, you know, residue that, that got kind of embedded into the firewall. Um, I had replaced a lot of the sheeting on the bottom, you know, from the exhaust. It just got fuel soaked over time. But in general, it's, uh, it's in really good shape. And at this point, it is, the fuselage anyway, is ready to recover. And I'll be doing that here in the next couple of days. It'll be covered in natural solar text, and then uh, I'll paint everything uh, afterwards. What's uh, unique about the reconstruction here, I'm converting it to electric. And uh, what's, what that's going to enable me to do, what I'm really excited about, is I'm going to run a really low KV, high voltage, um, large like pancake type outrunner motor designed for large multi-rotors and what that's going to allow me to do is run a quarter scale size prop so here we got a Turnigy multi-star what is it 9235 100 kV big old big old motor we got a three millimeter carbon firewall and then I made just some hardwood uh, two inch standoffs that will bring the motor out to kind of be centered on the firewall come out a couple inches there and then I'm actually machining a prop adapter uh, to bring the uh, the prop hub out about an inch and a quarter as well so it'll go through the cowling it'll look real good semi-scale for that that matter and then for the prop we got a real nice Fiala 
2612 vintage scale um, wood prop here. Beautiful prop. I've never uh, personally ran any Fiala props, but I'm excited to try this one. It's got a nice thin hub for, for an electric setup, but then you got your nice fat elliptical uh, blades, semi-scale, kind of vintage-ish. Uh, but uh, but it's going to look real real good on the front of the triplane. It, like I said, it's uh, at 26 inches. That's exactly quarter scale, and I'm just real excited to to get it put back together and start flying it again. Um, being on Long Island, there's the uh, there's the Long Island Dawn Patrol um, in the summer, so as well as Rhinebeck in the fall. And um, the reconstruction's going slow, but I've got a few months to get it figured out, and I'm anxious to get it put together and get it flying again. So you bring bring back a lot of memories and uh, create some new ones. Here's our our old uh, Williams Brothers pilot, and I got the uh, the machine guns up there as well, which are actually going to get replaced with some new ones because they got kind of busted up over time. But uh, we'll use the same pilot over again. A couple modifications that I'm making to it. Um, you can see the wings probably up on the ceiling a little bit. The middle wing uh, will get the cutouts around the pilot, which for some reason the flare kit was just straight, um, which is fine, but it just looks a little funny. Uh, so that's gonna get modified, and I'm gonna put some hard points in the wing tips for the, uh, the axe handle skids. Uh, and redo the strut assembly, um, the outer plane struts, um, to just be a little bit more robust and uh, practical. So I'm anxious to get it going, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. We'll see you next time.